the Manchester Guardian newspaper in England uh, had uh, beaten Archie Stark's record, and they wanted some comment from some American who knew something about Archie Stark. <laughs> and I was like flabbergasted because, you know, I hadn't thought about this in a number of years, and so that had uh, refreshed uh, my interest uh, in it. Uh, Kurt Lozell and this whole enormous project that goes on here at Steel Stacks uh, wanted to bring some of the history of the club here uh, uh, during the, the screenings of, of the, the World Cup uh, games. Uh, and so they brought me out four years ago uh, to speak on the matter. Um, um, I'm trying to remember why it is that the, that, uh, the Sports Illustrated uh, uh, latched onto this one, but periodically a journalist will call me up and they want to know more about the about the story of the Bethlehem Steel Club. I think part of the problem is is uh, in the United States we've been told this story that uh, you know soccer in this country uh, began with Pele in the 1970s. We've forgotten all this much earlier history, much of which is right here uh, in the Lehigh Valley. Um, and so as uh, soccer becomes more deeply uh, rooted in the United States, I think more and more people are digging further and further back into the history. Uh, and an important part of that history is right here um, uh, in Bethlehem. Uh, in November, uh, there is a soccer historian from Scotland who is traveling uh, to the United States. I will be visiting with him and we'll be touring up here in Bethlehem. He wants to see all the, the holy sites of where the club played. Um, and so uh, there is also international recognition now of, of what, what was happening with, uh, with the Bethlehem Steel Club. There was a fellow who recently uh, wrote his dissertation uh, on American soccer and on the Bethlehem Steel Club. Um, and uh, so even as, even in, in universities now, they're beginning to talk about this in terms of, of sports history. So I think it's, it's a wonderful history that we have here in this part of the world. Uh, it got lost for some period, or I think people here in the Valley knew about it better than the rest of the world, and I'm glad that the rest of the world is, is shining the light back here uh, again. It's terrific having, seeing the Bethlehem Steel uh, FC name again, uh, and I hope that that club does a good job of, of plugging in with the history that Right down here on the no question. In the 20s, did some of the amateur